Alright, number four, last page of the homework. The departure from the average is the difference between the actual amount of rain and the average of amount of rain for a given month. Okay, so actual amount of rain subtracted by the average amount of rain for a given month. The historical average of rainfall in Albuquerque, New Mexico for June, July, and August is shown in the table. These are the historical averages. This is what they normally get. Last June, they only had 0.17 inches of rainfall all month. What is the difference between the average rainfall and the actual rainfall from last June? So that is a simple subtraction problem. So what we would do is 0 0.67 minus 0 0.17, and that would give us a difference of uh, of a half of an inch of rain. So they were off by 0.5. Oh. So 0.5. The departure from the average rainfall last July was this. This was the departure. Now, when we look at this particular, let's go back to eight. I'm sorry, I didn't go over that as neatly as I should have probably. It was 0.17, which means that its departure was a below what it should have been. So I'm sorry, last answer should have been negative 0.5. If it was above it, it'd be positive. If it's below it, it would be negative. So the departure from uh, average rainfall last July was negative 0.36. How much rain fell last July? Well, they were 36 inches below their average, which is this. So you just have to do 1.5 and subtract 0 0.36 to find out what it was. Borrow, difference of 4, 4 minus 3 is 1, 1 minus nothing is 1. So it looks like uh, last July they had 1.14 inches of rain. And that would be 36 hundredths of an inch below their typical average. How much rain would have to fall in August so that the total amount of rain equals the average rainfall for these three months? What would be the departure from the average, I'm sorry, how, what would the departure from the average be in August in that situation? Okay, so how much rain would have to fall in August so that the total amount of rain equals the average rainfall for these three months. Okay, so let's find the average for all three. That would be 67 hundredths, 1.5, and 1.57 all together. So that's 4, 1, 16, 17, 3.74. Okay, this is how much that we expect for all three months. But so far, they've only gotten 0.17 and 1.4. So right now, they're kind of below average, right? Because they're only sitting on uh, three, 1.3 inches. We're, we're a good ways away from being to that point. So how much rain would have to fall in August to get there? So the question is, what could we add to that to get 3.74? How much are we going to have to have? Well, uh, we're we're going to have to do subtraction to find out what that is. So we'll always do that up here. 3.74 minus 1.31. 3, 4, and 2. So we need to get 2.43 inches of rain in August to get back on average. All right, so that's our first part of this answer. 2.43 inches. What would be the departure from the average in August in this situation? Okay, it's over what we typically get historically. All right, our job is to find out how much over, and then we'll have our answer. So, two, we'll do that up here 2.43 minus 1.57. We have to borrow from the two, make that a 14, make it a 13, and then this a 13. Uh, 6, 8, and 1. So that would be plus, we'd have to be plus 1.86 over, over our average to be able to make that happen. And that's the two answers for C, probably the toughest ones there. 2.43 is what we'd have to get, which is 1.86 over the average.